This is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at iPad OS 13 Public Beta 7 running on my iPad Pro 12.9 first gen. So uh, I've installed this on my, my iPad. Uh, I have two iPads. I have the 12.9 first gen and I have the 10.5 uh, Pro. And I decided to show this device a little bit of love here lately, since I've been uh, since I've installed this update on there. So I want to come and talk about some of the things that I like about it. Just give you my overall opinion on how this this device is running with the uh, public beta uh, version of, of iPad OS 13 on it. So I uh, got some things I like about it, some things I don't like, but we'll get into that. Uh, but this device is an older device, came out 2015 or 16 or somewhere around in there. Uh, I have showed it some love lately. I put me a new D-brand skin on here. That's the Dragon skin. I uh, did put me a new Tempered Glass Stream Protect on here as well. So uh, just showing it some love. And to be honest with you, it's performing well with the, with the uh, beta on here. So... Uh, let's talk about some of the things that I do like about this uh, starting off. So one of the first thing I like is the new home screen right here. As you can see, this is a whole lot different looking from what we normally have on there. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be talking about all the features that the new I iPad OS 13 brings. I'm just going to be talking about stuff that I like about it and how I've been using mine as well. So I like the new layout here. I like the idea of having your widgets here, which is pretty nice. You see, I got my weather, my Bible, and uh, my news stories. I can see my battery percentage, which is getting low. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. Uh, you can pin your four favorites up at the top if you like. This, this just looks a whole lot better. Now you can have your widgets there or you, you can choose to not have them there. Uh, but in portrait mode, it's not, you don't constantly see that. So you have to stroll over and get your widgets like that if you're in portrait. So that was something I didn't know until after I installed a beta on here. So that's one thing I like about it. I do like the new dark mode. Now there are several ways you can get into the dark mode. Uh, you can get in through your control panel here and turn on dark mode right there. Or you can go through your settings, uh, go down to dis display and brightness. And right here is where you can uh, turn on your dark mode as well. You can have it where it comes on automatic. You can set your options to uh, customize it. If you want to uh, sun up to sunrise, you can set it. But as you see, uh, I turned on automatic and automatically went into that because of the way it's set up. Now this is uh, light mode here. As you can see, it's a whole lot different. I don't really prefer that. I really like the dark mode. As you can see, everything is light now. All stuff that's iOS related, if I go into my messages, all of this is light. So what we're gonna do is go back and set this back to dark mode. All right, so that's a whole lot better. I like it. I just like the dark mode a whole lot better. Now, if we go into our drop down, that's dark. We go into our settings, that's dark. Go into messaging, that's all dark. And uh, the dark mode is sweet to me. So uh, another thing I like, uh, something else that I like is now your volume, your, your volume level is at the top now. Before, it used to be pretty intrusive. It'd be right in the middle of the screen. So I like that. That's another little neat thing that I like. Uh, I do like the idea you can get more icons, apps on your screen right here. And you can control that as well. If you like the big apps, uh, icons, you can control that. If you go into settings, display and brightness, uh, right here it says app icon size. So you can choose to have more or you can choose to have bigger. So I got it on more right now. If I click bigger and go back home, you can see I don't get as many and I also don't get my widget uh, bar right there all the time either. So 
Uh, that's one thing I like about this. The more is better <laughs> for me. So yeah, man, uh, this thing has been performing well. Apps open up really fast. Haven't had any crashes, anything like that. Uh, as you can see, everything works great, man. This thing, uh, this is the 2015 or 16. I can't remember uh, exactly when it came out, but it's got the, uh, like the process of the iPhone 7 in it, I think. So it's, it's still a pretty speedy uh, performing device. Now there are some things that I don't like about it and we'll get into that. In okay guys, so as you can see, I brought out my keyboard and uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is the ability to use something like this, a mouse. So it now has somewhat of mouse support. So I'm gonna go ahead, have this paired already. And uh, let's talk about this. This is something that I like, ability to use a mouse with this device. As you can see, I have my little pointer on there. So I can go in and I can open up, uh, click on stuff and, and open it up as you can see and scrolling, no problem with the mouse. So this is awesome. So this this makes your your, uh, your iPad feel more like a, like a laptop now. So uh, with this mouse, now uh, when it first came out, uh, you just had one big ugly looking pointer but now since they have uh, did some updates on this, you can go in to your settings, go to accessibility, come down to touch and assistive touch at the top. And what you have the ability now to do is resize this pointer and to change the color of it. So you come down to pointer style. And right now in here, you can make this as big as you want. I can make it that big. <laughs> That looks kind of funny. And I also can change the color of it as well. If I wanted it to be blue or yellow, or orange, gray, but I do like the red color. So I leave it on red. So let's go back out. And I'd like the pointer to be small as well. So I keep it at its lowest point right there. And we'll go over here and get out, get out of settings here. I like that little floating bar right there as well. Uh, that way you don't really, you don't have to get your hands on there and push the uh, home button either. So like I said, you can go through and control, get into your mess, uh, your messaging, your control panel, all of that with your mouse. And I'm trying to do this with the lights in my eyes there, but I can control, I can do whatever I want with my mouse. So uh, the mouse feature is excellent and uh, they, they can only do is improve on it. A lot of people don't like the style of this, uh, the look of the, uh, the pointer, and I don't really, but uh, it's functional and it works well. So next, what I wanna talk about guys is the web browser. So now what we have is a fully functioning uh, desktop type uh, style web browser. So uh, something that I like about it is if I want to be working on, say, a Google document here, and I'll go ahead and open up Google Docs. So there's my document. I got it open. I'm going to go ahead and create a blank new document here. So there it is. My internet's a little slow back in the back. So if I wanted to open up another web page right beside the split stream, and I'm showing you guys this. Uh, with the pointer here with the mouse So I drag this over now I got dual strings going on uh, if I'm working on my document over here if I need to uh, fill in something right there so I'm gonna say pictures of of cars P -I -C -T -R of don't laugh at my typing, guys. I like to peck, so. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and get into that. So now, I'm bringing up, uh, I got two, two web pages, uh, Safari web pages going on here. So, uh, if I'm working on this document over here, and I wanna drag and drop, say I'm talking about this car, 
I'll go ahead and open that up, but I can go ahead and I can drag this car, picture of this car over here, just like that. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you were able to do that before, and I can go over here and I can continue to work on this, uh, write in whatever I want to write there, and you know, I can go back and forth. So I do like that idea right there. Okay guys, so another thing I like, uh, if I'm working on this document and I'm looking at the web page over here, uh, if I wanna check out something on Twitter, I can bring Twitter up, bring it up as a little little window here on the side here, and I can be strolling through Twitter, working on this stuff over here, and I get tired of Twitter, I can just take Twitter and slide it over to the side here, out of the way, and if I, you know, continue working on this and I want to check out something on Twitter again, just slide it over from the side right there. So I do like that, the ability to do that. And if I want to go ahead and just get out of all that and say, for instance, I want to go look at something on Facebook. So now I'm in my Facebook and I'm strolling through my feeds here and I want to go back to what I had here before. It saves it there. And I still got my Twitter feed going there. So the desk, the browser is fantastic on here. And I do like the way that everything is set up like this. So uh, makes it more feel, feel more like a desktop type environment on there. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Now, uh, there are some things that I don't like about it. And uh, this, and it could be just my model, the newer models on some of the other videos that I've seen. I have a problem. It won't read my SSD here. Now I have the first gen iPad, so that could be the problem with the whole thing. And I am using something like this, a little uh, adapter here. Now I will pick up my uh, thumb drives. It'll read the thumb drives, but my hard drive and my SSD, it will not pick this up. And it, like I said, I don't know if it's my hardware limitation because I've seen People with the newer iPads use this combination and they work well with it. And hopefully uh, that'll be figured out later on in this. Uh, but other than that, I'm having some uh, great time with this. Battery life has been outstanding with this uh, beta. No problems with the battery life on it at all. Uh, don't have any crashes. Few little freezes every now and then, but for the most part, this is working great. I love having this on the old iPad uh, Pro first gen to see just how well it's working on this. And to say that this is so old is pretty fantastic. And it says a lot about Apple and supporting their older devices as well. So that's just my look at some of the things I like about uh, having this on the beta on my old iPad Pro. Uh, I've been using this for a whole lot for doing video editing. I'm using uh, LumaFusion on here and it works great. iMovie and LumaFusion, I uh, have no problem using that and it works well, man. Uh, you can run in 4K on here. I don't shoot in 4K or anything like that, uh, but you do have the ability to uh, run your videos in that. And iMovie works well as well. As you can see, I've done a lot of projects right there on this device and uh, like I said the the beta has brought a breath of fresh air into this and I'm really enjoying it so all right guys that's just my look at running uh, iPad OS 13 public beta 7 on my iPad Pro 12.9 2015 16 edition catch you guys in the next video Will H and I'm